Next story is literally about people struggling to stand tall before those who look down on them. And the world is mostly built for people at five feet tall. But what if you're not? Persons living, living with dwarfism are increasingly getting the recognition they have been yearning for, even though they have not even though they have to overcome seemingly insurmountable odds along the way. Tonight, Timothy, Timothy Otieno tells us their story and how many of them struggle to stand tall before those who look down on them. A plank of wood is what 37-year-old Catherine Kibe uses to switch on the lights at her home. It's a house arranged to her specification. She puts the most essential items on the lower shelves. This one is food stuff, like sugar, leaf, cooking fat, rice. Catherine is a teacher at the SCK St. James Academy in Kiambu town. She will not grow any taller than four feet, but that hasn't limited her scope in life. Hey. The early education teacher commands a class of pupils, some taller than her, like a pro. She's nice. She doesn't be beat people like that. Like that. Catherine has taught for almost a decade. And even though nearly half of her class will be taller than her by the end of the year, she has no shot of respect from her pupils. Is she a good teacher? Yes. Why do you say she's a good teacher? Because she teaches me language. Some people may undermine her, others may think she may not perform, but that determination to prove that she can do what I can do, she can even do better. She doesn't rely so much on the negatives. But that respect didn't come easy. Her first classes proved difficult. Her colleague and best friend of seven years recalls. Most of the young children, especially in baby class, when they join us, they, they fear her. Yes, sometimes like that. But when they come to, to interact with her and to socialize together, they mostly like the teacher more than other teachers. When the first attention they get from me, they were like, wow, the small teacher, we are the same size. They are like that, wow. Even if they, even if the parent will call me and ask me, Madam Catherine, my child is telling me we are the same, we are the same size. Uh -huh. And they would like to see me. Those should, those parents, they would like to see me. The story is different for Hussein Kenga, but his experience is quite similar. He works at the yard planning department of the Kenya Ports Authority in Mombasa. So when I quit a magina valimbali a jabu a jabu, nona, kimbilikimo, nyundo, kafupi. Yani mpaka sa hi kwangu kwa ito kwa kafupi, kwa yole majirani zangu pale. Unaenda wapi? Unaenda kule kwa kafupi. Unaona. From the get-go, Hussein stands out in his office. His desk has been specially modified to make life a bit more comfortable for the man who has worked here for 23 years. Nilikuwa na kaa meza ya kawaida. Naona. Kiti nilikuwa ncha kawaida. Kwa hivyo migu ilikuwa inaninginia kuanzia asubui na wakati mungine nilikuwa natoka saa kumina moja. Naona. Naingia saa mbili, paka saa sita. Natoka lunch. Naingia saa nane, mpaka saa kumina moja. Migu inalewalewa kuanzia asubui paka jioni. Kwa hivyo nkitoka hapa migu inaniuma, ina imefura. Because of their suppressed height, People living with dwarfism are characterized as persons with disability in Kenya. And for them, challenges remain abound, like finding love. Catherine is currently single, and for Hussein, well... Nakumbuka, kuna mwana mama mmoja li niambia sasa kama wawa ntaka, nita kushika wapi. Kama mba yesu na mahali pa kushikwa. Lakini, nafikiri ya haku wa riski yangu. But the duo, who represent so many like them across the country, stand tall even with life's many shortcomings. The little things in life that we take for granted, like washing your hands at a public sink, switching on the lights, and even something as minor as 
rubbing a blackboard may sometimes appear like a tall order for people like Catherine Kibe who often have to ask for help. But for many like her living with short stature in the country, they are determined to ensure that they don't sell themselves short. Timothy Otieno, KTN News.